Welcome back to The Body Coach TV. I'm Joe Wicks and this is my favorite eight minute ab routine. Something that you can do at the end of a workout or on a rest day. It's not a full body workout, but you're gonna feel a good little burn in the abs. It's gonna build that core strength, improve our posture and get us feeling good. So first exercise, we're gonna go for a nice, simple elbow plank, just to kind of fire it up a little bit. So it's gonna be elbows on the ground, underneath our shoulders like this, lifting ourselves up into a full plank, squeezing those glutes, squeezing those abs, and really thinking about activating those deeper core muscles. So think about belly button, inhale, and sort of suck it all up towards your spine. That's our first move, 40 seconds, here we go. Okay, lift and hold. So nice straight back. We want those elbows underneath the hands, sorry, elbows underneath the shoulders, and we're trying to squeeze and engage those deep core muscles. So just breathe in, in and out. And as you exhale, think about pulling your belly button up towards your spine. So it's like a corset, okay? Think about that, like you're wearing a corset and you're pulling it all tight, up. Good, and maintain that breathing, don't, don't hold your breath. Oh, love a little eight minute abs you. Eight minutes, in and out, job done. Seven seconds left, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, 20 seconds to recover. Next exercise, staying in the plank position. We're actually gonna go up onto our hands though, so we're gonna activate the core through a higher plank position. So we're gonna be up here like this, and what we're gonna do, this is a really tough one, we're gonna bring the knee up and across the body. So you're gonna bring it across, but slow it right down. Okay, so bring the knee to the elbow, and kick back, off we go. So hands are stacked under the shoulders, bring the knee across the body, touch the elbow, and back. Touch the elbow, and back. We don't want the bum up in the air like this. We're not dipping, lock that plank in, and from there, that's where the knee comes across. Ow. Feel this in the obliques, in the sort of side of the abs. Feet back into the plank, across. Good, can you make the knee physically touch the elbow? Oh, that's hard. Last few seconds, five on the clock. And relax, okay, stay where we are. We're staying on the mat again. This time we're gonna be doing a, a sort of variation of an elbow plank, except we're gonna rock side to side again. You're gonna target these, these sides to the obliques. What that means is elbows on the floor. Lift yourself up, and we're just gonna rock, rock. Left to right, off we go. So rock the hips. You're gonna feel that. Really activate those obliques again. So really, and again, think about pulling the belly button up towards the spine, rocking left to right. Ah. Yeah, feeling this one, 20 seconds left. Left, right, left. Right, so we're gonna go onto our backs for the next exercise. Keep it going. Good, strong. There's no rock, there's no dip in the back. It's all strength. Ow. Okay, three complete. Next one's on our back. We missed eight minute abs, every exercise is different. Eight moves, eight minutes. Next one we're gonna do, legs up to 90 degrees if we can. And we're gonna try and tap the shins or the toes. Again, work on the higher abs. Let's go. Just a tiny little pulsing movement. Just looking straight up at the ceiling on the sky. And we're trying to get those shoulders off the ground. Again, inhale down, exhale up. Really get that air out of the abdomen. Really just think about contracting those abs. Ah, it's burning, it's burning me up now. Keep going. So we're not really gonna to touch the toes, that's quite hard, but just trying to touch the knees or the shin as high up as you can. Keeping the legs nice and straight up. Ah. Oh, that's hard. Okay, we're gonna stay in a similar position, except this time the legs are gonna be bent. So keeping that nine degree position here, what we're gonna do here is stretch those legs out and back. Okay, so stretch out. So you're trying to keep those arms off the back, arms off the ground. Off we go, kick the leg out. And back. Kick out. And back. Oh, it's hard. Kick out. Return to the center. Because the heels almost at the floor. Return to the center. What we don't want here is the back to arch. Okay, so avoid the back from arching by pinning the butt, pinning the belly button down towards the ground. 
If you're struggling with the neck, rest your neck and just focus on the legs. Okay, so just focus on the legs, arms off the ground, keeping that tension in the abs, knee together, take it away. Oh, oh I felt that. All right, have a little rest a second. Next thing I'm gonna do, we're actually gonna do a single leg crunch. So what that means is, one leg up like this, and we're gonna keep it in line with the bent knee, so it's, it's facing away from us. From there, we're gonna come up and crunch and touch the shin. Off we go, so inhale down, exhale, crunch. So it's, you're not bringing the leg towards you, the leg's staying angled away, look. So already that's engaged, okay? Crunch, touch the floor, touch the shit, ow. Oh, this, is, this is destroying my abs. You can feel this one a lot. 20 seconds. Inhale. Exhale. Come on. Don't let that leg come towards us. That's where it feels easy, right? It's when it's away from you, make it. Make the abs engage already. And then you're coming up, up to meet the shin. Last one. And rest. Ah. If you're doing this right, you should, eight minutes is enough because you, you can feel it cramp. You can feel it really working. So same thing. So we're having that leg. We're not bringing the leg towards us. The leg stays away, so already that's engaged, those abs, right, those lower abs. And then from there we crunch. Oh, I'm dreading this. Okay. I do like this one, I do, I do really feel this one. So head and shoulders hit the floor, relax for a second. Crunch up, maximal contraction. Inhale down, exhale, up, ah. This is burning out. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, slowly lower yourself down. Think about these muscles, you've got to treat them like any other muscle. Lengthen them, contract and shorten them. 15 seconds. Keeping that leg engaged. It's nice and straight. Last few reps. Inhale, last one. Oh, that was really hard. Really hard. Okay, this is the final move now. We're gonna go into a high plank. And what we're gonna do here is actually a high plank and we're gonna bring our knees into our chest like this. So we're gonna drive the knee in, hold it for three seconds and release. Okay, so left knee. One, two, three, and back. One, two, three, and out. One, two, three, out. Kick it up. One, two, three, out. One, two, three, out. Oh, one, two, three, out. Bring the knee higher up, bring it to your chin. Imagine you're gonna touch your chin. Three, and back. One, two, three, and out. Last one. One, two, three, and out, and rest. Oh, ah. Tell you what, that finisher, so we've worked down the middle, we've done the obliques, the deeper core muscles. Great little finisher. I do it at the end of a workout sometimes, not every day, maybe two or three times a week. I hope you enjoyed that workout. Remember, please hit subscribe to the Body Coach TV. I post a new workout every week, ranging from beginner right up through to advanced stuff and everything in between. If you enjoy my workouts, please hit share, like with your friends and family because I post these workouts trying to get people moving and um, I love it. Have a lovely day. If you want to check out the, my bodycoach.com website, you can see the Body Coach app, recipes, workouts, an amazing app to transform you. Have a lovely day and I'll see you soon at the Body Coach TV or over there on the Body Coach app. Good luck.